through him here, we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday. these main story quests before I switch over. I do want to do White Mage eventually, but it doesn't hurt to do this. So, not these helps. We're supposed to meet this guy, this traitor, or we're trying to find out the traitor. Somebody stole a special heirloom. Alchemist. Hmm. Should we start our alchemist journey? I think we might as well while we're all the way over here. Oh, I keep getting distracted. Like squirrel. Ah, adventure. One of my favorite kinds of people. I find your unquenchable thirst for exploration neatly complements the burning hunger of the for sagacity that marks our dedicated members. Welcome to the Alchemist Guild. Though I hesitate to define alchemy in such narrow terms, our main field of expertise is the concoction of various potions and elixirs. There are salves to treat all manner of afflictions, not to mention miraculous libations that enhance the imbiber beyond his natural physical limitation limits. As an adventurer, I am sure you can appreciate the eminently practical applications of our work. What say you, sir? Care to take up mortar and pestle and join our ranks? Wonderful. Now then, allow me to give you a brief history of the guild before we tackle the history board. The alchemists are presently known as the quintessential brewers of potions. The profession itself arose from the desire to achieve an as yet unrealized ambition. The original driving purpose beyond our art, behind our art, and perhaps still is, the discovery of a process that can transform base metals into gold and silver, and the mystical medium thought necessary to effect such a transformation is the Philosopher's Stone, which is itself believed to have panacea properties, and be capable of instilling eternal life. Though success yet eludes us, years of endless experimentation towards this golden goal had the initially unintentional consequence of unearthing a wealth of knowledge in a field of alchemical medicine. Regretfully, alchemy's potential to enrich the lives of the myths masses was first met with a wave of distrust. As is our ability to create helpful compounds was akin to dabbling in back alley witchcraft. The profession eventually gained credibility in Olda through its integration into traditional medicine by Frondale's Frontistry, an institution known for producing respected physicians. Once the city shift in, perception became known, budding alchemists wishing to study without fear of persecution journeyed to Holda from every corner of the realm. It was not long before the gathering of inquisitive minds banded together to form the alchemist guild. While, thus, while our organization is intensely focused on perfecting and sharing efforts for research, it is also of paramount importance that we uphold the reputation of alchemy itself as a legitimate discipline. Level in the secrets of our art, and you must be prepared to shoulder the responsibility I have described. Make me to dwell on these words before you truly enter. Alright, so we started talking to him. I'm, I'm not super excited about this, but it will help. I mean, at some point, I won't necessarily always be going, which I need to be able to heal, so maybe free potions will help. So have you arrived at a decision? In the arts of alchemy, the responsibilities of your enrollment trials, etc. Excellent. Allow me to direct you to our guildmaster, gaining his approval of the last test you must pass before it will be a full Find the gold guildmaster, and you to his experiment with personal workbench, thus warn you as a rather intense individual to choose your work. This time, ah, you must be the merchant's lack. You come to bring me my mim imp wings. <clears throat> Let's have them then. Not a lackey, an aspiring alchemist, you say. Speak up, pray that I heard you right. Are you an aspiring alchemist? 
a babbling fool, Dietrich, said you to me. I specifically requested that I be disturbed for nothing less than the coming of a second from now. Do I appear as a kindly mentor to you? My research demands my absolute and undivided attention. Now be gone. Before I forced you, away. Perhaps I can. Yes, yes, you may be the very assistant I require. I've had a change of heart. Congratulations, I approve your application to begin. It is with great pleasure that I welcome the fellow seeker of hell into the field. We can dispense with the interminable initiation ceremony. Yes, here is your first alphabet. Alphabet. Try not to drop it, for there is much work to be done. Yes, much work. transformation into an alchemist has begun. You understand the liquid treasure they have made? Yes. Simply water. Limitless potential. Base ingredient. Flavor. Not the most flavorful of libations. Still refreshing. Summer after. What a sensation. Experiments. Uh, expect skills worthy. Choose an assistant. Okay, so next quest I have to get to level five. So let's just. We've, we've 
started this. the city and turn right. Destination and look at that. Some big giant frog right in front of me. Toxic too. Sunbat, so I still Okay, here comes the fight. Remember, stay back. Don't melee. That's what we did yesterday in melee. Comments agree. Now show me the crown. Aye, you'll have your precious crown once we've been duly compensated. You think me a fool? What assurance have I that you have, you will honor your part of the Now, now, Owen, you're the least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown stolen on, on your watch, but it looks to me as if you violated the terms of the exchange. Did we not say that you were to come alone? 
given that you're not alone, I would guarantee happily that there is a company of archers surrounding us even as we speak, ready to feather me and my men the moment they kept catch a glimpse of the crowd. And you have made mock of our trust. The deal is off. Wait, here's your payment, as promised. Where scores of thieves have been. And now, at long last, we have it. The power to create an army of undying soldiers. The traitors spurred. Oops. No, no, it can't be. What have I done? Surely you must have wondered what it was that you were handing over. The, what it was that seemed that as valuable to us as the crown seemed to you. Or did you assume? Feeling charitable? Ah, but you must feel terrible knowing that we brought that you've brought us the doom of Sildi. Worry not, boy. We'll grant you a quick death and spare you further ignominy. There's too many, Mangler. Run. Run while you still can, I, I will do my duty. It's your duty to serve the Sultana lad, and you'll be doing it for a good while yet. Hey, Papa Sean, Sultan Sworn, put these thieves to the sword and secure them. When you return 
for a second attempt to get a bonus. That is interesting. Um, well, let's see. We have items. We can probably put potions up here because I need them. Alright, potions are within reach. Let's try again. What can we do differently? We can avoid these little guys since they're healing each other and just focus on the big one. Maybe we have to beat him within a certain amount of time. Let me skip all this stuff. Oh, select difficulty. Normal, very easy, or easy. More normal. is the main goal. So let's just go.
Master Papashan. But why? How? The general saw you sneak into the vault, Zoe. He suspected something was afoot and ordered us to keep an eye on you. The Flame General. He ordered you to look after me? Master Papashan. More of them to the north. Oh boy. Not over yet. After them, Sultan Chan, Sultan Sworn, they have the crown. This lot sought only to delay us. Let us speak again back in the city. Uh oh. That looks like a super bad guy. The source of his strength becomes clear. Best of the gold, but you will not fare so well. Ultimate boss coming up. Word from the voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, and I may swipe my enemies. Imperils the plan, you cannot be suffered to live. Defeat the masked mage.
wisdom of the paragons should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons, this is indeed a disturbing revelation. We had long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos, Asians, to bring them their true name. But we could not be sure they were responsible for the recent disturbances until now. As if the Sultanate knew any more enemies. Hmm? Have we Charlene's crossed paths with Asians before? Well, we've certainly... Wait, I don't recall telling you about my homeland. Ah yes, that's right, you're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I've found you in the midst of trouble. If I had been know any better, I'd say you're a roadstone. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. Who knows what grand conspiracy you'll stumble upon next? I just, I just. Had I truly been watching your every move, I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in our latest altercation. But all's well that ends well, eh? Our math's friend is no more. And while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us at least some respite. And on that note, I must away. Until next time, Mangler. He's like Cloud of Strike. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for your adventure. Proceed to the heart of this one. Complete to get my ring. This gives me direct hit rate and blunt resistance. That probably isn't good for your image. Can I sell it? Probably not. Does it surprise you to see me dressed so, Mangler? It was once a s I was once a Sultan Sworn, you know. Now it's been 15 years since I put down my sword to put the role of Station Master. In it is a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve as a out. Whenever Her Grace ventures outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before had I seen her so despondent as when news of the crown's death reached her ears. But thanks to your valiant efforts, she has returned to her former vibrant self. You have the gratitude of every Sultan Sworn Mangler. Exalted Vessel of Noldal, Guardian of Thanalan, 17th Ascendant to the Throne of Uldar, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo presides. Long live Nanama! Long live oh. Nanama. Glory to the Glory Sultana! To the Sultana. Forever, may Forever may she reign! 
They regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. What kind of accent does she have? Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! She's green eyes. Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Unamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raoban? Your Grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. As you command, Your Grace. If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. An honor, sir! Indeed. Come, hero! Until then, for the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignitaries who get to hear me prattle on and on about royal traditions. Any road. I know you're a busy man, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient custom, all guests to this banquet are required to wear a pair of ceremonial ears. Me, 
something special for the occasion. They are meant to symbolize, actually forget about that, this was meant to be a short version of the DNR design of the occasion appearing to serve as a security measure. The Soviet explorer will not be able to get out. The Mars set should be ready and we can bring that the gold's missing. Mr. Serendipity is expecting you to head there now. Once you got him, bring him up and continue. Debut in high society. Banquet's being held at the Fragrant Chamber. Head over to the Royal Promenade. Bartholomew will show you in. Put on your earrings first. So he'll send you packing. Reckon that's everything. Trying to let all the pomp and ceremony get to you. Just be yourself. Map says way down here. By your grace, the Sultanus, to begin shortly, and it's invitation only. Arriving guests, I'm going to receive you. Proceed inward. Unend. Shit. 
shiny pool of glow of yellow light. All hail the Sultana! Your Grace. Raubon? By right of the Royal House of Ul, I, Nanamo, 17th of my line, have summoned you here. We are graced this day by the presence of a hero to Ulda and dear friend to the crown. Honored guests, I give you our champion! And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast. Not to spoil your appetite, but Ulda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets. Nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the Syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Ulda. But there is so much more to do. That light. What is it? What well, light? So bright. Almost like by the twelve. Tell me true. Have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Mayhap you... Put them down to an excess of ether. I did turn into child the other day. Yes, you are like they were. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Garlean Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three grand companies. And they stood with us at Cartano, that fateful day five years ago. The day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them, and of what you might achieve. You must protect that crystal at all costs. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, Mother of All, and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. Oh no. I got knocked out. No more eating crystals, buddy.
games to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is Artemis? No, it is nothing. Won't go down so easily. Ah! Uh. Nice forward. Ooh, I see somebody. We are being watched. Bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond. Re Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. <laughs> Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! Lost your mad snake. Damn it! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swan. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back, effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our late cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody half-wit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre.
This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Luiswa. To your positions. Acting? I guess you don't have to do You're my little Paimon. You're not a boy. They say you fainted in the middle of our general stories. I had to have you carried back to the hourglass. I reckon you made quite an impression with your fellow guests. Though probably not the sort you intended. You sure you're getting enough rest, Mangler? The life of the adventurer can be pretty taxing. Any road, I'm glad to see you're back home. No offense, but looking after you is getting a bit tiresome. Oh, before I forget, General left a message for you. Said, when you're feeling up to it, see him at the Hall of Flames. Probably wants to finish the story he was telling you before you fell asleep. Anniversary of the Battle of Cartoon, the 
memorial service honoring the fall. It's my hope that the counterparts of the Alliance will agree to do the same. And I would have you hear my words to them as my personal honor. Why you? Because your deeds work out. Mark you out as the nearest thing I have to a warrior of life. I can think of none more worthy in this world. The question is, who will you accept? And if you disagree, you will journey to Gridania and Limsa Lomensa as my official representative over the rest of the long haul. Now that you have great many longs to travel, and I have the time and patience to wait while you do it on foot. I did. I did start an envoy with you, so I could fly to I hereby grant you permission to use the airship routes connecting the three state city states. This city, this pass serves proof of your privilege. Honor the days when airship travel was available to all. The ever present threat of imperial attack has forced us to impose drastic restrictions out of concern for public safety. These passes are only granted when circumstance demands it, as it is in this case. Though there were others who insisted to be granted one regardless. I am not alone in seeing it. Your potential is plain. But if that's said enough, your name of Fultana, I bid you go for it. See for yourself the wonder of the realm for which the warriors of light risk all. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. And you shall be paid, path be barred by the enemies, spread fast and true for the victory. Achieve what we were looking for. We're now going to go back to Gridania and turn into a white mage. Envoy, the flame general himself. So you'll be bearing the great man's words to the leaders of the alliance, will you? And by airship. Bugger me, that's an honor and a half, that is. I can't thank you of anyone who deserves it more. I'm proud of you, Mangler, I truly am. Now I dare say Robin told you this, but not many people get to go on airships these days. In fact, most people go to their graves having never once seen yours from above. Poor buggers shuffle off to meet all having never known the blues of Limsa, Lominsa, Shimmering Seas, or the myriad greens of leafy Fridania. Sounds like much better places in here. <laughs> but not you, Mangler. You'll see these sights and more. And everywhere you'll go, you'll find fascinating folk with fascinating tales to tell. People you meet, this as you go, save those experiences, for they are priceless. Oh. Saying that, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you to be careful out there. Old ain't the only place beset by troubles, as you'll discover when you visit Linza and Gregania. Truth be told, that might well be exactly what the general wants you to realize. I think he knows what kind of man you are, really. And what's... What kind's that, you ask? Why, the kind that can't resist sticking his nose in other people's business, of course. Don't you ever go changing? Safe travels, Mangler. See you when you get back. If I get back. Mamoni. 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 
Alright, go to the airship landing. I think they told me I have a shortcut to Here's my shark. Counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Lominsa. If I'm not mistaken, you are the Flame General's envoy, Mangler. Yes. I went Skyways at your service. Are you flying with us today? Uh, I guess we'll go there. I was hoping to go to Gridania, which I can start here.
Eorzea, a blighted realm riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, Meteor, failed Meteor. to yield Sin. us control over it. So it's truly Final Fantasy. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Totally confusing. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. Okay, Darth Vader. We are the one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Now he kills his best, second best guy. That's what Vader would do. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Uh, my, my lord! He looks scared. Please, call me Nero. Oh, no. Tell me, where were you born? Nero. Dun, dun. Otto, oh, my lord. Al amigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Uh-oh. Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Or not we do. Clean up this mess. And do not miss any. Or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Mm. Garland, soon you...